Hello? Hello? What? No, actually, I don't, because I'm staying at a veteran's home. So, I don't. So, my wife takes care of that, and you will have to call her. Let's go check him out. You want to? Oh, we... Yeah, we can get this, Calvin. Take what we want. But no, I can't. Sucks. I told you, I live at a Dude, veteran's home. Because I have PTSD. I don't take care of any of that stuff. My wife does. Of Men in War is about being a young man, going to war, losing yourself, and trying when you come back, being another man, trying to build up a new life. The way I have addressed it with this film is to pick up 12 men who have decided to go through therapy in a residential program for nine months. The amount of fire we were taking was uh, getting heavier, so I knew it was sooner or later. You know, <laughs> they'd zone in on us. So I told her here to run downstairs. So he got up. About two seconds later, um, I felt like this mist on my face. And uh, I kind of wiped my face off. It was blood. So I look over to my left, and O'Hare is laying on the ground. He had been shot through the neck, and he has his hand on it. And then he just My grandfathers went to World War I, and um, when they came back, uh, they got married, they got kids, and they never spoke to their experience of World War I, neither to their wife, nor to their kids, nor to their grandkids. You know what I think about, dude? I look at all these Geritol fucking wheelchair-ridden fucking old fuckers around here, and think, you know what, dude? 90% of them were in the same boat we were. We ain't any different. Someday that's going to be us, right? Yeah. When I was a child, their experience of l growing up and living in war-torn cities in Normandy um, was never expressed. It was like if all this had never happened. Although you, you could feel, and perhaps because I'm, I was an, going to be a filmmaker, I was more sensitive to, f to this, the silence, for instance. And um, but it's true. It was always a question in my mind. These, these people around me are carrying something that is not expressed. You did all this math today? Mm -hmm. You need to slow down, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're doing things, you know how to do it. You do a good job when you do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when you don't pay attention, you make simple mistakes like that. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. hey, let's not start getting crazy, okay? Because you'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth and talk, please. Open your mouth and talk, please. How many birds are there? Count them. Just touch them. One, two. Hmm? I don't know. I think at this point I'm feeling a lot of fucking anger and hate and rage. The effects of the trauma can be inherited but you can free yourself from this legacy and continue building on what happened, but not being uh, hostage to what happened. This is my son, Matt. He was in Vietnam. Not Vietnam. I mean, not Vietnam, I mean Iraq, and got wounded. Hey, I guess he's doing better. Yeah, he is doing better, a lot better.
It's a good question, but can you ever prepare somebody for this? I don't think so. In an event of the human um, species where everyone can take someone else's life is a huge transgression.